Hey everyone, welcome to Flow Park Seven. I am Sushmita, an avid soap making enthusiast. So today I have prepared this lovely loaf of oatmeal oasis cold processed soap, which happens to be made with cocoa butter, colloidal oats, honey, and sweet vanilla, along with warm cinnamon essential oil. So this soap is going to be a perfect blend of skin-loving ingredients designed for gentle cleansing, deep nourishment, and is especially perfect for someone who has dry yet sensitive skin type. So this is the formulation that we use for our oatmeal oasis soap, which we also happen to sell on our WhatsApp business page. If you are someone who is interested in checking out this cold process technique of making a soap. then do stay tuned as i'm going to be sharing with you the entire process of how a cold process soap is made so in here i have taken a vessel into which i'm adding some water here i'm going to be making a lye solution which is an essential part of cold process soap making now the water that i have used for soap making process is again a distilled form of water Next I'm going to be using lye for making this solution. So what is lye? Lye is sodium hydroxide. It reacts with oils and butters through a process called saponification. This chemical reaction is what turns our rich oils into a solid soap. While lye may sound a little bit scary, don't worry. By the end of the soap making process there is no lye left in the final product. So once I add this lye to the water I mix it along with the help of a spatula until all of it gets dissolved into the water. Always remember while handling lye one has to be extremely careful to not make swift movements causing it to splash around. Always wear protective gear like gloves, safety goggles and a mask as lye can cause serious damage if handled with bare hands and incorrectly. Following lye safety is absolutely important and cannot be compromised upon. While our lye water solution is waiting to cool down to room temperature, here you can see that I have taken some of cocoa butter. Cocoa butter is a rich moisturizer. It is full of fatty acids that creates a protective barrier over your skin to lock in moisture. It is also packed with antioxidants that helps to reduce the signs of aging. To the cocoa butter, I'm going to be adding sweet almond oil. So this is another wonderful ingredient. It helps to nourish and soften the skin while being rich in vitamin A and E it also helps to maintain the skin's moisture balance and helps to promote a glowing complexion Next up is our favorite ingredient coconut oil so this is an indigenous ingredient which helps to contribute to a rich bubbly lather Its natural cleansing properties helps to remove dirt and impurities without stripping your skin's natural oils And lastly I'm adding a blend of castor oil and palm oil. So castor oil in this helps to provide a creamy luxurious lather to the soap. It has a great conditioning effect on the skin and it is a wonderful humectant which also helps to keep our skin hydrated. Heat the oils and butters on a low temperature so that they all melt and blend well with one another. Allow it to come down to room temperature before we can proceed to add our colloidal oats. So this is ground colloidal oats which is not only great for soothing dry skin and sensitive skin but also helps to nourish your skin while it provides a gentle exfoliation. As you can see I am taking the temperature of the oils right now it is at 96 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's go and check our lye solution. This should be at okay it's at 87 degrees Fahrenheit which means that it's at perfect temperature to blend with one another. As you can see I have combined the oils and the lye mixture with one another it has reached the right temperature and I'm going to be blending it at a high speed using this handheld blender so what we are waiting for is called as a trace phase this is when the mixture thickens enough to leave a trail when stirred now I'm adding honey to the mix at this stage we will also be adding our skin loving essential oils to the soap batter So as you can see here I have a combination of vanilla and warm cinnamon oil. So both of these are essential oils which means that they are a natural source of fragrance and they have a multitude of medicinal benefits. 
Vanilla essential oil is extremely aromatic. It smells so sweet and it has a very beautiful calming effect on both the skin and the mind. It has a sense of warm comforting effect on you as it makes it a perfect addition to the soap. While cinnamon oil brings a warmth to the soap with its hint of spiciness, it is also known for its antibacterial and antioxidant properties which helps to protect and heal the skin. So as you can see, our soap batter has now achieved a thicker trace and it is in a perfect condition and a perfect texture to be poured into our mold. While I'm pouring it, you can notice how well it has actually formed and the drop is absolutely amazing. Now I'm going to allow the soap to set for about 24 to 48 hours. But before that, you can see I am adding a little bit of a comb effect, honeycomb effect rather, on the top with the help of a bubble wrap. And this is what it looks like. Next morning. It's almost about 24 hours now. And as you can see, I'm slowly unwrapping the bubble wrap gently not to hurt the soap and now we can see that the soap is all set from the top and it looks quite firm to be unmolded from the soap mold. So as you can see I have taken out my soap mold from the wooden crate and now the soap mold is going to be loosened up at the sides and the edges so that the loaf comes out smooth without any cracks cuts in the edges. It's crucial to be very gentle at this stage because the soap is set yet it is still soft. To get a smooth clean surface like this you need to be handling it very gently. Finally I'm going to go ahead and cut my soap into a 125 grams bar like this after which we are going to allow it to cure for about 4 to 6 weeks on the rack. Curing a cold process soap is absolutely essential for it to become a completely hard soap with 0% water left in it. Also during this period the essential oils that we added into the soap become more pronounced and mature. So this was our video on Oatmeal Oasis soap. If you have enjoyed this video be sure to like, share and subscribe for more behind the scenes look into how we create our handmade skincare essentials at Fleur Park Savon. Also do check out this link for our catalog to buy from us.